CBC polling analyst Eric Grenier joins us now from Ottawa. Eric, you were here with us in Regina on election night nearly 14 months ago when the Saskatchewan party handily won the support of voters here. So when you look at these poll results, given the recent tough budget, what's your reaction? Well, these are big shifts from where things were in the last election, this poll uh, giving the New Democrats a nine-point lead over, this, over the Saskatchewan party. But what's most interesting about this is that it isn't a one-off. Uh, this has been a trend that has been heading uh, in the NDP's favor and against the Saskatchewan party now uh, for some time. After the budget, there had been two polls done by Main Street and Incitrix. Uh, they had both shown that the race was more or less neck and neck between the two parties. There was some questions whether that was going to be just uh, a bit of a momentary uh, feeling of, uh, of upset, people being upset with the government uh, as regarding the budget. But now that we see these new numbers that are continuing to show uh, faltering, faltering support for the Saskatchewan party, does uh, stand to reason that uh, the the damage that that budget had on uh, the public opinion uh, does seem to be lasting. So you feel then this wasn't just a natural poll bump for the opposition given a tough budget but that in fact the Saskatchewan party has a lot of work to do to right this ship in its favor? Yeah, absolutely. This is the first time that the Saskatchewan party has been uh, under 50% for more than one poll since 2008. That's a long time. This is the first time they've ever been in second place. Uh, so in most other provinces, uh, this back and forth it would be uh, relatively common. But in Saskatchewan, Brad Wall has been so popular for so long. To see this big shift in the polls, we're talking over 20-point drop since that last election. Uh, that's something real. And the Premier, he's running ads and promoting this budget, as saying these were the choices we had to make. And we had to do this because... We don't want to dump a financial mess on future generations. Do you think, though, that the Saskatchewan party has gambled its future political success with these budget decisions? Well, it could potentially be a gamble. If by the time the next ro uh, election rolls around in 2020, if uh, things are going better, then that gamble will, will have paid off and the Saskatchewan party will be well placed to try uh, for re-election. But if uh, things are not better, if the, the budget is not uh, that different, still in deficit, still cuts uh, being made, then it would be very good opportunity for the New Democrats to come back into power. So it could be high risk, high reward. If it was something that needs to be done politically, uh, it's better to do it earlier on in this term than later on when the election is just around the corner. And still some variables with the NDP. We're waiting to find out who their leader is. We won't know that until next year. So s a lot could change, hey? Yeah, absolutely. That will be a, a decisive factor because people right now, the New Democrats without a permanent leader, they, they can be a little bit of what everybody wants them to be. Uh, but when they do have a new leader in place, uh, that will put a new face on the party. But something that's interesting in this poll is that the shift has been between the Saskatchewan party and the New Democrats. It hasn't been going to the Liberals or uh, something like that. This isn't a non, none of the above option. It's people going over to the opposition. So that would be a real danger for the Saskatchewan party and an opportunity for the NDP. Uh, but it, it, that would be up to the next leader to uh, cash in on that. Thanks so much, Eric.